Here's today's In Touch Devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 22 of Luke chapter 12. And Jesus said to his disciples, For this reason I tell you, do not worry about your life, as to what you are to eat, nor for your body, as to what you are to wear. For life is more than food, and the body is more than clothing. Consider the ravens, that they neither sow nor reap. They have no storeroom nor barn, and yet God feeds them. How much more valuable you are than the birds! And which of you, by worrying, can add a day to his life span? Therefore, if you cannot do even a very little thing, why do you worry about the other things? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither labor nor spin. But I tell you, not even Solomon, in all his glory, clothed himself like one of these. Now if God so clothes the grass in the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the furnace, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? And do not seek what you are to eat and what you are to drink, and do not keep worrying, for all these things are what the nations of the world eagerly seek, and your Father knows that you need these things. But seek His kingdom, and these things will be provided to you. Do not be afraid, little flock, because your Father has chosen to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give to charity. Make yourselves money belts that do not wear out, an inexhaustible treasure in heaven, where no thief comes near, nor does a moth destroy. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. A modern poet described the time we live in as an age of anxiety. Our lives have only become more anxious, in part because the world has become characterized by the need for more. Advertising and information flood our senses and emotions, so when it comes to material goods, enough seems to be just out of reach. We may think this is unique to our lifetime, but is it? In Luke chapter 12, Jesus' assessment of his audience, his disciples, could have been written today. Do not worry about your life, he says. Specifically, he says not to be concerned about where food and clothing will come from. He urges those of us who are believers to consider the birds and the lilies. If God feeds them and clothes the grass of the field so gloriously, He will certainly provide for our needs. What Jesus says may at first sound naive to our ears. We know that food and clothing don't appear out of thin air. Unless we work hard, we won't have what we need. But Jesus' teaching isn't a license for laziness. It's an invitation to work as only God's children can. Thinking that our work alone will provide for our needs is a wrong view of God and His kingdom. Jesus says that our Heavenly Father has chosen to give us the kingdom. If we can see Him as a loving Father who is able and willing to provide all that we need, we can trade fear and anxiety about our life for patience and trust. <music> 